Like, do you recall? Did you ever know that the pyramids were made? They were done with precise precision. I mean, the gap between the stones is paper thin. Um, they said they had to use laser beams to cut these rocks. No one knows that they're harmonics and they're floating up in the air. Or, but inside these amazing pyramids, there's drawings of gray space aliens. Stories of visitors from the stars coming to Earth and sacrificing children so the villagers could have their crops grow. Oh, no, we don't want to use that. Prosper. Then you got five, six thousand years where it's quiet. Is regular, you know, the Dark Ages, you know, horse and buggy cavemen. Sorry, not cavemen. Cowboys. Horse and buggy. There was no satanic symbols, no visitors from the stars anymore. It was just mankind. And if you look at the pyramids in the same era inside the Bible, it says fallen angels came down to earth. And they had sex with the women, and they had giant offspring, and we worshipped them and sacrificed our children to them. Same story as in the pyramids. Then quiet again. Same thing, quiet. Up until Roswell. He had some things like uh, President Roosevelt sticking the Illuminati symbol on the back of the dollar bill. He had the meeting in 1913. Was it 1913? When the globalists made a secret private island to take over the, 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 you know, America by the Federal Reserve Act. We had some suspicious things. I think they were talking to spirits in meditation. I think Crawley came and opened up the portals. That's why they praise him so much. That's why all the musicians praise him. You would wonder why would, you know, the Beatles and other popular musicians all over the world praise Crawley. You know, the guy raped a little kid, ate him. And then you think, well, you start putting the story together. But if they're hybrids and they weren't able to be created unless their daddy, the great space alien, came through the portals, raped the women, the human women, and were able to create them. Anyway, so I got off subject. So it was quiet, and then Roswell happened. Suddenly we have an advance in technology. And 20 years after that, in the six, late 60s, you're getting like, you're getting government um, creepy laws, you know, like Operation Northwood. I don't know if that's a law or what it was, but you know, fly airplanes into our buildings. And they, you know, so, um, you have all these movie stars throwing up satanic symbols. All the government officials making laws about murdering us off like the Patriot Act. You know, throwing up satanic symbols. You got satanic symbols on all of our clothing. You know, Nikes and our cars, Mercedes, and then you got so, if you were a satanic devil worshiper and you did the black magic right, you would put a curse on that symbol shape. That killing of that kid, you'd put a curse onto that symbol shape. You would, then you would give your enemy that symbol shape, they'd wear it, and then they'd fall off like a cliff and die. Because all this stuff, they're tagging all our clothes and our cars, they're tagging us with all this like black magic stuff that gives us curses. Because there is a God, there is a devil. So the hybrids, okay, their God is the devil. And our God is Jesus Christ. So if I do bad things, I feel guilty, I get convicted by the Holy Spirit, and I start having bad luck because God's teaching me. At the same time, it could be a curse of the devil because he's not my God. So if I do things that pleases the devil... I belong to God, Jesus, I get cursed. See, in the hybrids, they do bad stuff, they get blessed. If they do good stuff, they get cursed. The 
It can do good stuff for the act. They can act to trick you. That's okay. But they can't do good stuff with the good intent. They have no soul. It's almost like the Muslim thing where they can do anything they want to do as long as it hurts us. They can act. They can do all kinds of treachery in the name of Allah. I mean, they can cut your head off. What kind of God is that? <laughs>